My family taught me that it is better to die standing for my beliefs than living on my knees in fear. And I am honored to be from this tribe of warriors. They taught me that sometimes we must go without to get it what we want. We must give to get. Not everything comes easy and that is okay. Because hard work brings gifts. Hard work builds strength. Hard work builds character. These experiences warriors must have to find their inner strength. It is adversity that brings opportunity. Tenacity and non-acceptance of the word no is a characteristic that my aunt taught me. That sometimes when you're up against someone who seems to be stronger than you, if you come together with others, you can beat that person or that thing into submission. There is power in numbers. Communication and the ability to teach others and enroll them in your plan is critical. And the loss is okay and suffering is all right because it brings us together as a nation, as a people. Passion for life and truth are critical, Leticia said. And service and the drive to do good works is important. Creativity and the ability to see things not as they are but as they could be is something that we must encourage our children to do. Do not just accept what people are telling you as truth. Ask questions, she said, Leticia. Ask why and demand answers. Understanding and compassion for other circumstances is important. And action, the ability to effectively implement the plans are critical in these times and always. My Aunt Maria embodied all of these traits of leadership in a time when women were at a disadvantage and Puerto Ricans were not recognized as equals. And I might bring to your attention that unfortunately today, we are repeating that time where we are not seen as equal. And that is very concerning to me. My aunt had no fear of speaking her mind publicly, and I don't either. It takes brave people like Maria to inspire generations of future leaders and community activists. There are many children here tonight, and I'm surprised but happy to see them. I brought children with me too, young adults. My daughter and her friends and some of my staff that are young Hispanics are here with me tonight, witnessing this culture and history and seeing the leaders that are here with us. In honor of my aunt and the other Latino leaders who work from the shadows, developing the future leaders and encouraging collaboration and growth for all people, in honor of my grandmother, my father, my uncles, and my aunts, and the Latinos who paved the way for the opportunities that are in front of me, people like Eddie Perez and Luis Caban, people like Julio Mendoza, and my friend Wadalise, who's here with me tonight. We have learned that excuses, excuses are bridges to nowhere and monuments to nothing. That said, we are in a time when the world is upside down, when our leaders are building walls instead of bridges, when our nation and planet reel from climate change, where 380,000 households in Connecticut cannot afford their energy bills. Therefore, I call on you, each of you, to take a stand with me in honor of Maria, to stand for equity, for opportunity, for the common strength as a people, one people, the united people, the red, white, and blue people, the Borinquians, the Americans, all of us together. For the time is now, and I ask you to think how Maria brought people together and how she called meetings on common causes to create opportunity for those who could not fight their own battles because it is our responsibility to show strength as community, to defend those who cannot defend themselves. It is our duty to stand up and demonstrate our ability to work together as a nation under God, indivisible. My aunt's store amongst the candies in the newspapers, while I was young and impressionable, through her words and actions, I learned the lessons that I leave with you tonight. Never forget where you came from. Know your people's history. Make a way where there seems no way. Stand against inequality and socioeconomic disparity. Live and die for your rights, because in the end, all you have is your word, your honor, your defeats, and your successes. In my family's memory, I employ each of you to become warriors with me. Warriors for change. Warriors for equity. Join our fight and our long-lasting change for socioeconomic equality for all. Let's make a way together where there seems to be no way. For together, anything is possible. Thank you. Woo!